The award-winning documentary 306 Hollywood is coming to ETSU along with filmmaker Elon Bogarin. Anita DeAngelis with Mary B. Martin School of the Arts is here with more. Anita, I had to look down my nose to make sure I said I Elon's name right, but I think I got it. I think you got it as well. Okay, so. good. Yeah. So this is really exciting because not only is Elon coming to ETSU to yeah. talk about her film, but this is an award-winning film that you all are going to be able to show to the right. community. Right. So this film actually premiered on the first night of Sundance in 2018, which is really quite an honor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously not many films get to do that. Right. So we're so thrilled with the quality of this film. But you know, it's also a delightful story. Um, I love this film. You know, so many of our films with the Southern Circuit Tour of Independent Filmmakers um, are on such serious topics. While this one is a serious topic in a lot of ways. It's also showing us a lot of humor um, as well. Right. So. It almost softens um, what can be a really trying time in right. someone's life, which right. is uh, this story follows uh, Elon and and going through her mother's His things, grandmother's. Right? grandmother's things after she passes away, and so right. it's them kind of using humor going through things and I you know I was reading um, the article that you all sent us and they even kind of go through like dentures and like just toothbrushes like, yeah, just all the random I mean things. all kinds of things <laughs> yeah so so the story is is about their grandmother primarily and she lived at the same address 306 Hollywood mm -hmm. for over 70 years Wow so you can imagine all the things that were collected um, in that lifetime <laughs> yeah. and so Elon and her, and her brother um, took a different approach on how they wanted to look at her life and, and the things that were left behind. Mm -hmm. And just maybe, you know, I'm sure what's also interesting too is that it is funny, it is humorous, yeah. and I think a lot of people can relate to that, you know. Sure. As you said earlier, you know, suffering a loss like that in your family can right. be really difficult, but being able to kind of go into uh, a situation like that with a little bit of humor and seeing kind of what was important to the grandmother right, right. that you are kind of thinking, uh, what? <laughs> there, there are some funny scenes. Um, their grandmother was a, was a seamstress and mm -hmm. there's some very funny scenes, uh, scenes about the clothes that she made. Uh -huh. um, she dressed impeccably. Um, so, so they they use some of her clothing in this dance scene that's really quite delightful. Right. So, you know, there's a lot of joy that's mm -hmm. also celebrated in in this film. They obviously had a wonderful relationship with their grandparents. Right. So that comes out in the film as well. I think that's so wonderful and something very relatable for everyone yes. as well. And yes. what's great too is that people will be able to meet Elon and be able to talk to her about yes. you know what she went through. And then of course the film aspect of it as well. Right, right. And that's one of the things that we love so much about our film series is that the filmmakers come with the film. Mm -hmm. And so after the film, we have a period of time for questions and answers. Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. And so kind of switching gears, uh, on Tuesday you guys are busy as well because yes. you guys have a lecture coming. Tell me a little bit about that. Right, so we're helping with the um, Basler Chair of Excellence for the Integration of Arts, Rhetoric, and Science at ETSU. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. <laughs> and this year we have Dr. Eric Avery on campus. He's a physician as well as a visual artist. Mm -hmm. And he's been, um, in, historically with his own artwork, it's, it mostly has to do with AIDS, HIV. But he, this time, is going to talk about, his topic is, Art Can Save Lives. And so he's going to demonstrate that in his, his talk. And the talk is free and open to the public as well. Wonderful. And this is yeah. a, it's something really unique, you know, just even the title itself, How yes. Art Can Save Lives. Yes. And he really takes not only his experiences as a, in the medical field, but also in the art field as well and kind of combines them. them together. <laughs> yes. He's a very unique individual. Um, and and he's, he's doing amazing things connecting different groups of people on campus and in the community right now. So oh, Wonderful. Yeah. And that's one thing that you all do such a great job of is just really bringing the community together as yes. we see in this 306 Hollywood, which it sounds really wonderful, and of course this lecture as well. Here's all the information for the 306 Hollywood screening. It's happening Monday, February 18th, 7 p.m. at the Ball Hall on ETSU's campus. Give them a call if you have any information or you can go online, but the best part is it is free and you can go meet Elon the filmmaker as yeah. well. Thanks again, Anita. We always appreciate you coming on. Thank you.
And we also want to make sure to mention about the lecture happening on Tuesday as well, the Baylor Chair of Excellence. It's happening on February 12th, also March 26th. You can look at all the different dates right there. But we always appreciate you coming in and uh, lots of stuff happening at Martin B. School of the Arts. That's right. Thank you.